guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Haunted Gaming. This time we do a creepypasta called 92%. Now, I'm going to do this creepypasta word for word, it's pretty short, so without saying too much, let's begin 92%. There was an old game my older brother and I loved to play together on Sega Genesis, on Sega Channel, and if you don't know what that is, I feel sorry for you, you missed out on an awesome time. Years went by, it was so long ago, but I could remember the look of the levels and all the noises so clearly. I finally typed in first person shooter for Sega in Google over the weekend and found it within minutes. It was called Bloodshot. The following story is true and you can even look up the game to see if it's real, unlike many others claim to be seen. It was a boring night at home. I lived with two of my brothers and my father. I was home alone, dad worked late, brothers over friends places, so yeah. I decided to check out a bunch of old Sega Genesis games with an emulator on my brother's computer. It was good memories, but no game lasted me more than 5 minutes. I then remembered Bloodshot, and I frowned when I saw it wasn't in my brother's game folder. It took a while, but I finally found a download link for it, but it stopped at 92%. I was frustrated, waiting for an hour without it moving. I then noticed the file itself was in the game folder, where I told it to download to, so I tried loading it anyways without waiting any longer. I was relieved that it worked, the familiar graphics came upon the screen and the well-known little sounds filled my ears. It took a while controlling it with the keyboard, but I managed the buttons. Things got a little strange when I opened the door to the first level. I saw another avatar already running and picking up all the special guns even though I was playing all alone, not even on 2 player mode. And this game is basically a fossil, it's not an online game. I thought it was a computer controlled entity, but although I don't remember one being there before. It was all it was doing all the work for me. I followed behind it without getting bored as the computer blasted all the enemies and the boss of the final level and we both ran back. Yes, after the boss dies you have to run back to the star before the place explodes. The second level, we stood in front of the first door. This is when I felt awkward around the other guy. He turned to me and then the door as if waiting for me to open it. So I did and we ran off. Eventually I realized I was almost dead and had been fighting alone. I turned around to see my mysterious ally was running along the walls, and eventually found a hidden door with a special gun. That did it. This guy was acting like a human player, not a computer controlled entity. We went ahead into the level, and I noticed some glitched out textures on the wall. Curiously when I ran into one, the game froze, so I reloaded the game and found myself alone in the first two levels. As I entered the third level, the countdown was already commencing and I saw my mysterious ally running towards me to exit the exploding level. Then we came to level 4, and it seemed the higher the level, the more glitched textures would appear. Before entering the door into the 4th level though, he shot me a few times, and then faced forward and waited for me to open the door. It was as if he was cursing me for abandoning him the first time around. When I shot at him, it did nothing. After we defeated the 4th boss, the countdown didn't start. Confused, I followed the other player behind the dead boss, and he opened a hidden room. Behind it was an avatar of a human. Rather than looking like a robot like everyone else, it walked into me, startling me a bit and then the screen flashed red as if I died. But the game froze. It was late so I went to bed and shrugged it off. The next day the game would load up and came with an error. I was interested the, the to load the game up but gave in after an hour and finished the download quite quickly. The game was normal however and there were no other players. I reached the fourth level and after the boss, the countdown commenced. I, want, I went behind him and opened the door, but inside was the human avatar as well as another player texture. They walked into me and the game flashed red. I died but the game didn't freeze, I respawned in a huge level, but came across no enemies, weapons or mines. But there is a strange buzzing noise. I'm still walking through the level, trying to find what the hell this is all for. I left my computer on, but the game paused. It kept unpausing itself in the middle of the night and I hear the noises of the game. As I leave my speakers turned up, whenever I sit down to pause it again, I see something run around the corner at the last second, but can never catch to see what it is. I keep feeling like something is watching me as I sleep. Alright then, so what about this creepypasta? Well, for starters, it was kind of unique with the whole freezing download, and honestly, I was wondering what was really happening, there, some, some of the detail was missing, and honestly, this creepypasta kind of felt like it was the middle of a larger creepypasta. I wondered what 92% meant and why it was thrown in, and to me, it felt like it was there for no reason. Was it a way of telling the player not to play the game? You know, freezing so that the player wouldn't bother to open it? 
I felt like it was tossed in and it could have just been 5% for all we care. Hell, even giving the numbers some deeper meaning, like the numbers being the last two digits in the player's birth year, may have given it some meaning, but here it feels tacked on. Even the ending was kind of weird, as if this is to be continued or something. I mean, no investigation into why the game kept on pausing or anything, just something watching you as you sleep and you're cool with that? Don't get me wrong, the idea of a self-aware entity in my computer watching me as I sleep is pretty creepy, but honestly, I don't see any rhyme or reason except that this is some stalker entity. Boo! Now, the happenings were a lot scarier than that of a recent creep pasta I've done called First Crate, but like First Crate, it just doesn't really feel creepy. I guess this creep pasta was longer and more thoroughly explained and possessed some more context, then it could have been really good, but for now it's just it just feels like you're reading a chunk out of a much larger creepypasta. That's really it. It's it's not incredibly awful or anything. It's okay, and I feel if it if it was more expanded on and given more meaning to the phenomena that was happening in it, it could be really good. This has been another episode of Haunted Gaming, and if you like what you saw, then like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have a creepypasta, Click on the Some Ordinary Gamers Wiki link below and just post it there. And yeah, this is me, Mudahar, and I am out.